Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for April. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up for April. Keep in mind that this may resonate at any time in April, so the first time you watch it, it may not resonate. A lot of people don't understand that. <laughs> so anyway, keep that in mind. Um, and I just want you to know I tried to do your reading several times. And <laughs> I know that you guys don't like to hear the negative. You don't. So, you know, every time I did it, it was negative. So I was like, damn, these people, they don't like to hear the negative. They only want to hear the positive. You think about the sun card, about the positive. You want to hear the positive. So not everything is positive. Sometimes you need to hear the hard stuff to progress. You have to accept the things that are holding you back as, as obstacles. You know, you have to see the obstacles. You can't just ignore them. You have to look at them head on. So whatever comes out now, I'm going to share. You can't ignore the bad things, the things that need to be faced. You can't just brush it aside. I don't want to hear it. It's not what I want to hear and, and hide behind it. You can't. So what do we have for Leo? We got two, we're going to take them both. One is a fated change of course. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is a card of a cycle ending in your life. It's time to begin. It's time to begin a new chapter. It's time to start over. It's time to go down a new path. This is a an opportunity to change your direction, to change your life. This is destined change, of course. One one cycle of your life is, is over, right? It's time to start a new chapter, all right? The emperor, you know, this is about taking charge. It's about, you know, taking control. It's about being firm. It's about being decisive. And it's about being disciplined. You have the opportunity to dominate your life. You have the ability to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to be strong and you have to be decisive and you have to be responsible and you have to, you know, when you make a decision or when you do something, you have to stand by your decision. So you guys have the ability to persevere through anything you do. You have a lot of strength, and you have a lot of wisdom within you. But you have to use it wisely. You have to use it to your advan advantage. You know, you have to be disciplined as well. I mean, discipline is big. It's huge. You now have an opportunity to take control of your life and change the course, change your destination. But the only one that can do it is you. You're the boss of your own life. So what do we got for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the month of April? If you decide 
that you want a better life, if you decide you want something, if you decide you want change, you'll have it. But you have to, you have to own it. Justice, Page of Cups reversed, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups reversed. There's lack of wish fulfillment here. You may feel like you're lonely. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, right? You're waiting for something perfect, right? You're waiting for the right one or the right option. You're waiting for it. I feel as though you're waiting for what you deserve, right? You're waiting for balance and harmony to come into your life. You're, you're waiting to get what you deserve. You're waiting for abundance, right? But there's a lack, I mean, with the Page of Cups, it's like there's a lack of, in the Page of Cups reverse with the Nine of Cups reverse, it's like there's a lack of emotional fulfillment within yourself. It's like you're not... It's like you're not taking the right approach. Hmm. This is lack of emotion. You need to be more playful. You need to be more... Um, you need to have a little bit more fun, you know? You may have your heart set on somebody who's emotionally unavailable and you have somebody that's better suited for you. I mean, the Page of Cups reverse is a person that is emotionally unavailable. I mean, that could be you or it could be the person you're dealing with. And you could be focused on the wrong one when you have somebody else. I mean, the Lover's card is a choice and it's a choice. It's consequences. It's a card of consequences for the choices that you make. When I see the lover's card, it tells me that you have an opportunity for love, but this might not be, it, pro, it is not with the person that you think it is. Now, this is a card of integrity. It's also a card of karma, and this is a card of karma. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. You call in karma based on the decisions that you make. There's consequences for the decisions that you make. Integrity is the very first card. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. So anyway, there's a lack of wish fulfillment here. There's a lack of getting what you want, of having everything you need. Perhaps because you have your heart set on somebody who's really not available. Maybe this, this person is already married. Because this emperor right here, this could be any man. This is a man that's a family man. Usually this man is married. He's attached. Usually. Very family oriented. Oh my goodness gracious. So I feel like we have somebody here that may already be attached. Hmm. High Priestess reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. Breaking free. Liberation. Heading in a new direction. Take action. If you want wish fulfillment, you need to choose wisely. Make sure that you are choosing people who are emotionally available, who are readily available, and who are not attached. This is somebody who has hidden agendas. The High Priestess Reverse is somebody who has hidden agendas and doesn't listen. Ooh, wasting time. Three of Wands Reverse. Wasting time on somebody who's not emotionally available. So some of you are wasting time on somebody. Waste, you got to see what's mirroring each other. You're wasting time on somebody who's not emotionally available. 
somebody has been wasting time focused on the wrong one when they have somebody else better suited for them. They need to break free from that mentality that this person's going to become available, that this person's going to fall in love with them, that they can steal this person, whatever it is. You know, you got to do the right thing here. I'm not saying that it's you. It could be the other person. I don't know. Um, somebody has been wasting their time. It's like wait, waiting for somebody who has hidden agendas, waiting for somebody to, you know, thinking that they deserve it, you know, thinking that, you know, I deserve this love. You deserve somebody that has integrity. You deserve somebody who is emotionally available. So put that, you know, in the back of your head. I really feel as though somebody has been wasting their time. <laughs> that is no joke, okay? Somebody has been wasting their time on somebody who's not available, period. It's time to take action. It's time to, you know, stop looking at this. See, this this Knight of Wands is on this edge. If you want wish fulfillment, stop looking at this wrong one. You know, somebody is focused on somebody who's not about good for them, not uh, well suited for them. This is this isn't what you want to hear, and I know that. Okay, this is not the news. I mean, the page of wands reverse is not good news. You're dealing with somebody who um, has brought confusion into your life. They've probably caused you to lose your focus. You know, they've they've caused you to go off track for a minute. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time with somebody who is not well suited for you. Somebody that doesn't have any ambition. Somebody that has hidden agendas. But this is a karmic lesson, okay? It's karma. This is something that somebody needs to learn and it has to do with you know waiting 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 for the right option waiting for the right choice not being impulsive there's been impulsive action here somebody has you know acted impulsively and now they're <sighs> needing to release that situation I mean, the Nine of Wands reverse. You need to stop holding on to this dead end, okay? I really feel as though, Leo, you guys need to bring closure to some sort of... karmic situation. This is closure. Karma. You have to take the you have to be the boss you have to make a decision you have to be strong you have to be responsible you have to act with integrity you have to you know take action and break free from something you've been wasting your time with and you know exactly what it is i know that you do There's another opportunity here. You may not see it. You may not see it because it's in the shadow, right? It is in the shadow. It's You can't see it right now. You can't with the lovers. I mean, you can see that this is a shadow. It's not, you know, you can't see it right now. But it's it's coming. It's coming. But you're focused on the wrong one. And that's what that is. And there's consequences. That is a card of consequences for acting impulsively. Oh, boy. So I really feel as though you guys are destined to head in a new direction. But you have to take the lead. You have to be the boss. And you need to have faith. And you need to have trust. And you need to believe in a higher power. You need to believe in yourself. I feel as though you have to be honest. You have to be truthful. You need to take the power in your own hands. This is a wake-up call.
you get what you give. You know, if you have to put in effort. It, it looks to me like you guys are on a journey to find balance and harmony in your life. It looks like you need to reevaluate. Okay, you need to reevaluate the decisions that you make. You need to reevaluate your path. This is a six, okay? Six, six. Where's the other six? Six, six. We had another six. Oh, this one was it, the justice. It's not a six, but it was balance and harmony. This was balance and harmony, and this is balance and harmony. We must, I could have sworn we had another six. Cause that, anyway, this is getting what you deserve, okay? This is getting what you deserve. You will get what you deserve if you have faith and trust and you believe and there's honesty. This is being honest. This, this is the sword of truth. It's a sword of integrity. It's the sword of communication as well. So somebody, you need to communicate the truth about what you deserve. If you want somebody that is truthful and honest, you know, this is you reap what you sow. It really is. You give what you get. You reap what you sow. This is juggling. This is, this is like playing games. This is like a player. This is my player card, two of pentacles. This is biting off more than you can chew. This is change is needed. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You have to make a choice. You got to choose one, not two. It's one way or the other. I feel like a lot of you need to listen to your inner guide. You do, and you need to be honest with yourself. And I feel like some, it's funny that I started this reading out with what I started out with. I can't even remember what it was now, but I know it resonates with this. You need to listen to your inner guide. You you know, this is like, this is a guidance counselor. The Hierophant is a guidance counselor. Maybe you're receiving, you know, messages and you're just not listening to them. I don't know. This is change. Take that next step. You need to make a choice. You need to make a decision. I feel like you're right now you don't you don't know what you want. Take a look at look take a look on look at his face. You don't know what you want. I think that you know you are definitely trying to find balance. There's been a lot of ups and downs, but the the the, the ups and downs have been at your own hand, okay? You've caused them, and I know you don't want to hear that. You've caused these ups and downs. By investing your time and energy in somebody that isn't emotionally available. It's like you've got to make a cut. you gotta, you got to be honest with yourself and you need to take action right now. It's like you want somebody to come to the rescue. It's like you want this, you know, perfect match, but you're in a hurry. You really need to reevaluate. There's no doubt. It's time to get your life back on track. Maybe it's time to start listening. It's time to start listening to your higher power. Somebody just doesn't want to be alone, right? I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who doesn't have self-worth. She doesn't have self-respect. She's not enjoying life. She doesn't want to be alone. She or he. I don't want to be alone. Therefore, it's like 
now they've got themselves in a pickle. This is in a pickle right here, you know, because of loneliness. Losing abundance. Lack of abundance. This is loss. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is loss. It's loss of financial abundance because karma works in mysterious ways. We do have, this is karma. We definitely have some karma here. Uh, but if you put in a lot of effort and you work hard, you can be abundant and you can be happy and you can be successful. I feel as though you guys are holding on to a dead end situation and that's the truth. The death card reversed. You guys are holding on to a dead end situation and it is getting old. It's better to be alone and successful and enjoying life at ease than holding on to a person that is attached or is emotionally unavailable to you. Somebody is absolutely wasting their time putting in effort with a player. Therefore, they're not getting wish fulfillment because they're not making the choice to stand firm. I deserve the best. I deserve abundance. I deserve the good things. I deserve. Do you? If you deserve it, you need to be responsible and you need to be disciplined and you need to take charge of your own life. You need to do the right thing and you need to refrain yourself from dealing with people that don't have good intentions. You need to stop holding on to dead ends. You need to make wise choices and you need to be patient. Indisciplined. You will get what you deserve when you reevaluate and you take steps in a new direction. You need to work hard to be abundant. You need to work hard to enjoy life. I'm serious. It might not be easy being alone. It may be frustrating. It may be lonely. But you're better off being alone than being used. Or unloved. Page of Cups reversed, unloved. Somebody with hidden agendas here. The High Priestess reversed, that's hidden agendas. It's like somebody has been through a repression on their own accord because they've been wasting their time with people or a person that is a player. Not seeing that they have other, another opportunity, not really realizing that there's another opportunity because they're so focused. I feel like somebody is really focused on the wrong one. And that's the truth. And I feel like there's another opportunity waiting for you. It's waiting for you. Now we get the three of cups here and the three of cups here. It's like you, you have an opportunity to go out, go have fun, celebrate your life, be happy. Let your friends help you. Be playful. Socialize. I feel like somebody has got themselves into a third party situation because of loneliness. And karma sees that shit. Don't think it don't. Don't think you'll be rewarded for that. There's a lot of people that think, oh, I can, it's fine. I, this is what I deserve. You deserve that? Does anybody in this world deserve to be in a third party if they don't want to be? Does anybody? Nobody does. So I feel like somebody has absolutely gotten themselves in a third party situation because of loneliness and now... They need to make a change. They need to make a decision. They've got themselves in some sort of a pickup pickle <laughs> they need to reevaluate and be honest with themselves and take action and get the hell out of there so that they can reunite with their the one that they are meant to be with it's like the perfect match is in the shadows because somebody is dealing with 
a dead end situation, which is sad. It is sad. Um, yeah, you guys are basically not allowing a golden opportunity to come into your life. This is somebody who lacks integrity, doesn't have the moral backbone. This is a dead end. Okay, somebody is holding on to a dead end, and I know that you guys don't want to hear that. That's okay. There's blockages here. There's blockages standing in the way of achieving your goals, and that's because somebody is not acting with integrity. Somebody needs to refocus. Somebody has been distracted. They've been lazy and complacent. They don't want to do the work. They haven't planned. It's like now they're they're losing. They're losing. This is a lost opportunity and it's losing. Somebody could be losing money because of impulsive actions as well. You should be saving your money, not wasting it. You know, save your money for the future. It's funny. It is. I was thinking this morning, I have a friend that, you know, I'm taking her on a trip <laughs> and we're going soon. And she just wasted her money and she should have saved it for the trip. You know, this is what I'm talking about. Impulsiveness. It's like not re not real not being practical at all. It's like taking advantage of the other person because you know they can take care of you or whatever. <laughs> it's disheartening. Anyhow, this page of pentacles reverse is somebody that lacks focus, lacks drive, doesn't want to put in the work, doesn't want to put in the effort, wants a handout. Gets easily distracted and acts impulsively. So I really feel as though somebody needs to refocus. They need to start planning. They need to be disciplined, you know, to get something better. Holding These are both dead ends. Somebody is holding on to a dead end. Somebody that is emotionally un unavailable when they need to be more practical. They need to be wise. They need to take ownership and they need to take charge of their life. There's an opportunity to head in a new direction. Something better is coming. Stop wasting your time with a joker. Oh, jeez. Now there's self-loathing with the star card. There's no hope. It's like you may feel like there's no hope. You may feel like you're never going to get what you want. Well, your thoughts do become things, right? If you want peace of mind, you got to you, you you have to be act with integrity. I'm not saying that you didn't, somebody didn't. You need to believe. There's lack of hope. There's lack of believing here. Believe in divine timing. Believe in good things. Somebody has lost faith in what is meant to be will be. If Let go and let God, Leo, please. You can't force things. It's like it's time for a rebirth. It's time for a transformation. It's time for a transition. But you don't want to do any of the work. It's time for change. The death card is change. It's reverse. It's time. But you got to believe and you got to have faith and you got to follow through. The universe isn't going to do all the work for you. And make sure that when you are making decisions, that you are acting with integrity and you are considering the other people involved. Who's it going to hurt?
You guys have a new beginning coming. You do. You have an opportunity to start in a new direction. Don't make the same mistakes that you've made in the past, wasting your time on people and situations that are not available for you. I think there's delayed wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups reversed and the Star reversed. It's a, there's a delay. And it's because somebody has grown lazy and complacent and they don't want to do the work. And they're making wrong choices. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And I think that's, that's what's coming. Okay, that is what's coming. Or that's what's happened. <laughs> Somebody may have, you know, gotten involved in a third-party situation that was really, third, right over that third-party situation that was really passionate. And now, you know, it was just sex. Just sexual Oh, it was. Son of a gun. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Maybe that's where you're at. Somebody is in an unrequited love situation and it's like they're in denial about it. They have another opportunity. They have an opportunity to, you know, get to a better place. But it's going to take discipline. It's going to take strength. And you're going to have to own it and be the boss of your own life. So I feel like this today is, or not today, but this is a month of probably making a decision. You can, you got to choose one. You can't, you got to choose a path. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Something is going to have to be cut out. You're going to have to take action. So I feel like this is a month of hopefully making a choice. This is a choice. This is a choice. Reevaluating and making a decision to put in effort, to be strong, to re regain structure in your life, to head to a new destination, to spin that wheel, to accept change, to go in a new direction. So I really feel like this is a month of putting in effort with that Eight of Pentacles, putting in effort to start a new beginning, to release. I mean, the overall energy is to release, to let go of what doesn't serve you. The Nine of Swords, or Nine of Wands reversed. This is dropping it. It's like, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm done. We need an overall advice card for you, don't we? I think we do. An overall advice card for Leo. One over, take, take the reins, and I don't need the chariot card. Authority, be, be the boss here. Dominate this situation. Make a decision and stick with it. It's about being, the emperor is very responsible. Be responsible. Better things are coming, believe it. But patience is huge, okay? You gotta be patient. Acceptance, that's a good one. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. I gotta show you what's on the bottom because this is where it's at right here. This is the card. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only on your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. It's true. It's true. If you want balance and harmony in your life, 
if you want to change your direction, if you want success, if you want wish fulfillment, you have to be honest with yourself about well, about whatever this is. This unrequited love situation. You got to be honest with yourself and you need to stand firm in your decision. Don't let loneliness bring you bad karma. Because that karma will hit you. Usually in the pocketbook. That's what I've learned. It it could hurt it could hit you in a relationship as well, you know, not you won't get the relationship you deserve because you didn't act with integrity or it will hit you in the pocketbook. And I've learned that it will usually karma will usually hit you in the pocketbook won't let you have the financial abundance because of the decisions that you made. So anyway, that's what I'm telling you. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I have, Leo. I feel like this is a month of making a decision in regards to an unrequited love situation, closing out a karmic situation. Little, little, close, close, nines are closure. So that you can get the good things in life. So that you can get the wish fulfillment that you deserve. And patience is huge. you got to be patient. you got to work hard, okay? Anyway, that's what I have. Good luck.